Thank you, everybody. Welcome to Weekly Cigar News. This is Orlando Perez. Here I have the Cuevas, the Casa Cuevas cigars. So let's go one by one. What's your name? Luis Cuevas. And yours? Alec Cuevas. Bienvenido, bienvenido. So here they, they have our Cuevas cigars. Let me get my stuff out of there. Cuevas cigars. And then, uh, so tell us a little bit of the story of how it commenced and all that stuff. Well, uh, generationally speaking, my uh, great-grandfather immigrated from Spain. He was a farmer in Spain. This is the 19th century. He goes to Cuba, and the crop there happened to be tobacco. So he became a tobacco farmer by just default. Uh, then my grandfather took it over and did very well with it. And then 1959 happened, and by 61, everything was confiscated. So like many other Cuban families, we, uh, we left, wound up in Spain for a year. And when we got here a year later in 1971, uh, my dad had a different business, but by 83, he and his brother decided to revisit the family business and they opened up a factory in Santiago, Dominican Republic. Um, the factory's still going strong. My uncle's no longer with us. And as my uncle was leaving us, so to speak, I joined up with my father and we've been at it ever since. The brand itself, though, is from 2017. We manufacture for other companies, still do, but we launched this in 2017. It was a, a long time due and Glad we did it, and now with Alec, if you include uh, my great-grandfather, my grandfather, my dad, myself, it's five generations with this young man right here. So. Yes, sir. Cool. Tell us how you got started. So, I got started, interestingly enough, so, well, granted, it goes to figure that in terms of uh, an old tradu uh, Cuban traditional fashion, so to speak, my grandfather, at a very young age, when I was about, give or take, 17, decided to offer me my first ever cigar. I've seen the factory from this point forward, but I wasn't fully invested into the business and what it really you know, was all about. So he gave us the very first prototype, which was our Casa Cuevas Maduro. Um, I couldn't go about halfway through it. That was my first ever cigar experience before I just simply couldn't smoke it anymore. But that got me very curious as to everything in relation to cigars, from the factory to what we were doing with the brands, to fellow cigar smokers. Um, and my love for this industry really came about from the conversations I've had with a lot of the very, very cool individuals that I've met within this industry, as well as from a consumer standpoint. If it wasn't for my father's mentorship, as well as my grandfather's very, very steady hands for this blends, I don't think I'd be where I am today. Um, and currently being the fifth generation of Casa Cuevas, I'm very much looking forward to the future and what it has for us as a company. So currently what we have here is our Patrimonio, otherwise known as the Patrimony. Uh, as we just finished stating, this is a family business, so it's very much father handed down to son. With me being the fifth generation, it was just a matter of due time before the cigar came out. Launched in 2021, this cigar was our first ever time using a Corojo wrapper from Honduras. It also carries a Nicaraguan binder, as well as three crucial components inside the filler, which in this case would be Nicaraguan filler, Peruvian filler, which is something that we also never used before, it gives it a little bit of a citrusy note, so to speak, and also Pennsylvania broadleaf to amp up the strength. In terms of the body profile, it is a medium plus to full bodied cigar, and it's one of my father's favorites to this very day. It comes in a Robusto Gordo size, a 5x54, a standard Toro size of a 6x52, as well as a Gordo 6x60. Awesome. Now, the ones uh, uh, over to your, your left over here? Yes. There's some other ones out here. You that's, some, that's not all our entire lineup, but that's some of it, yeah. Yeah, of yeah, course, I'll by talk all means. Through it. So, yeah, I'd love to. So, in relation to how we began, the only thing we're missing here from our core line product that initially allowed us to start off is our blue box, which is our Casa Cuevas, Connecticut. But over here, you have our Casa Cuevas Maduro, the first cigar I ever smoked in box press. And over here, you have his counterpart, the Casa Cuevas Habano. The differences between these two are not exactly subtle, however, when you're looking at the blend itself, it's fascinating to note that the binder and the filler are the exact same in relation to both of these blends, but the wrapper makes all the difference in the world. With Ecuadorian Habana wrapper, you're getting yourself a little bit of that subtle spice, those peppery notes, and with the Mexican San Andres, you're getting much more creamier tones, much more of a chocolatier sensation. I'd say this one's on a much more smoother counterpart than our spicier counterpart over here. Now this guy is our Mandaria. Armandaria has a very fascinating story. In 2019, we recently got a brand new warehouse operation that we are currently still in at this very moment. And within about a month of being there, we were broken into. They sold about 25,000 cigars. And to give you context, the front door, the back door, and the bay door were all alarmed. That being said, they were smart enough to go through the wall, cut through some rebar, and put a guy essentially as skinny as me into the humidor to wipe us out completely of product. 
At that moment in time, we recently launched these limited edition 7x43 Lanceros, otherwise known as Flacos. They came numbered, but they also came out of sequence, so we didn't know in good conscience if they were stolen or if fellow consumers received that box. Instead of having you guys wait close to about half a year to eight months for this product to come back out, we instead went back to the drawing board and in very quick fashion came out with the sledgehammer, the same tool used to break into our warehouse. Now, initially it was a limited edition run, but it got such good reception that we decided to make it a core line production. And uh, it's been here ever since. It's one of our best sellers. And over here is something brand new to our lineup. It's our Casa Cuevas Core Line Toro Pack. Now, this came back into the fray currently as of this year, 2023. And in this variety, you have a little bit of everything from what we have to offer from our Core Line products, Connecticut, Habano, and Maduro, to our Reserva line, launched in 2019 under the grandfathered clause. So you have just about a little bit of everything here in case you haven't tried Casa Cuellas before and you'd like to give it an opportunity or maybe let's say you have tried something but haven't given some of the other cigars a go. And that's a little bit about everything that we have here on the table currently. Awesome, thank you, thank you for that. Thank you. So you have anything, uh, any la last uh, comment or anything you have to say? Yeah, first of all to everyone, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, whatever it may be. Second of all, if you haven't given us a shot, Please do, and if um, you know if you're just in love with one brand, even if it's mine, branch out, branch out. As we spoke of earlier, right? Life may be too short to smoke a bad cigar, but it's way too long to smoke the same cigar. So, a lot of good cigars out there. I hope you give us a shot. We want to be a part of a humidor. Thank you for joining us, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Orlando. Okay, the show. So, go on to the next one later on. Thank you, guys, again. Thank you. Thank you.